So you might have been wondering where have I been and uh, I've stopped a bunch of my previous projects. I was suffering from burnout but I hope that I'm back and I hope that I'm back better than ever. So I have created uh, this map. It's gonna be like my fantasy map that I'm going to be using in my D&D uh, games. Uh, it's primarily split into three continents, the southern continent, the northern continent, and the shattered continent. Now, the idea of the lore is, like, this continent is formed by a bunch of tectonic plates, which are, like, horizontal to each other, uh, you know, kind of just pushing onto each other, creating all of this, like, weird geography. And, and, and yes, like, some of this are technically lakes however it used to be they used to be seas and like a lot of this land is like how do i say that it's not the worst in terms of irritability but there is a lot of salt content no as the, the closer you get like like the beaches are mainly made out of uh, salt and sand okay because all of this you like all of this region at some point used to be under water it just got pushed up pushed up so no, not the greatest place uh in, in the fantasy world more mainly like goblins and this kind of creatures are from the shattered continent uh there are two deserts the southern and the western one and i mean they separate kind of the northern north from the southern north <laughs> uh the humans they originate from around this place and a lot of different races originate from different places like for example elves originate from this area and stuff area stuff not everything is set in stone as of yet i mean like you know some stuff is relatively easier like giant kin and giant ways originate from the north you know uh and such uh, there, uh, this world does have uh, its fantasy element. There is magic. However, the planes are a bit different from the base game. I mean, like I mean, like the base lore of D and D Five E. Okay. Uh, and I I I'll actually get to that later because, like, I don't really have all the plane maps finished. That just like a quick something. Uh. Yeah, this map uh, took me. I, will, I wouldn't say it took me that a, a very long time, but it did take a couple of hours, like five to six. Uh, I really like how this region looks. It's like really broken up, really into pieces. You can also see the tropics here, it's like this, the darker green. The lighter colors typically also mean elevation. If I can, you know, I can show you. This is like the elevation map. You know, white means uh, mountain peaks, dark means valleys, and stuff. However, we do have like when you add the grass, it's a bit less visible because you know tropics are darker. But yeah, uh, I'm a. I'm uh, kind of ready to make uh, a game, you know, a campaign, and turn around this place. This place is called the Arnwind Coast, and it's I, I hope it's going to be interesting. I hope that you will stick around, and, you know, I have big hopes for this.